What is going on guys? I'm out here today and today, as you can see by the title, we are doing a, another fishing challenge. Well, sort of a challenge. It's I'm going to see what I can catch, if I can catch more bluegills or green sunfish in this creek. And, well, I'm going to compare them from start to finish of catching, cleaning, and cooking them. Which is easier to do which, which one has more meat, which tastes better, stuff like that. And I'm also going to see the fighting power, which ones fight better, where I can catch them, their habitat, and stuff like that. But anyway, let's get moving. Today I'm using, well as always in the creek, my ultralight rod and reel combo. Or I've got a little popper on there right now, just a little minnow popper. And I'm going to try it on top water first when I get up here to this other bridge. I'm going to try it on top water first, and then I'm also going to try a diving crankbait and see which does better to catch which fish. But anyway, let's get going. Alright guys, I'm going to try here first. I actually don't think I'm going to catch nothing here because it's pretty shallow, but we'll try it anyway. Oh, they're getting chased. It. They're chasing it already. They're nothing big, but they're chasing it. Alright guys, I'm up here at the second spot. And actually there's already fish jumping out of the water, so we should do pretty good on top water. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and cast it over here into the shallow spot and just let it sit there for a minute and jerk it on top water. Oh, it got hit. Oh, there's one. What is he? Green sunfish. Not really big enough to eat, but I mean, we'll keep him just in case. I mean, we definitely can eat him. So we'll put him in the bucket and we'll see what else we can catch. Let's just cast it back out and see what we can catch. Oh, I'll fill one. Oh, yeah. Got him. This one's a little bit darker. I think he's a green sunfish still. Oh, no, this one's actually a bluegill. Yep, there's a bluegill. Now, from that, I think they're about the same size. We'll see. Yeah, they're about the same size. All right, guys, both of those actually bit on this top water popper. So I think it's more of the location and the water quality since they're in the same family of fish more than it is the actual type of lure. I still got the little popper on there. We're just going to keep trying and see what we can get. All right, guys, I actually just lost the popper on that tree branch over there. So I'm going to go ahead and tie something else on and see what I can get. I don't even know what I brought, to be honest. Let's go ahead and tie this little cricket on here and see what we can get with it. Oh man. I got a bite, but nothing took it under. I'll try down here now, see if I can catch anything. Got it. What is it? It's a minner. <laughs> or a bass. No, it ain't a bass. It's just a little chub minner. He's tiny, but hey, they make good bait. And a meal if they're big enough. See you, bud. Alright, so I can't catch nothing else on top water. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to a sinking bait. And I can almost guarantee you I'm going to lose it because it's so raw. But I'll tell you one thing. This bait goes in, I'm going in after it. Cause that's like expensive right there i'm gonna go ahead and tie it on and we'll get back to fishing i've got this little rapala sinking minnow tied on and we're gonna you know see what we can catch with it again if i lose this i'm going in after it well maybe not but still uh-oh uh guys i might just got caught I just broke off. Well, I guess we're going after it. The good thing though guys is it's actually not in the water. I may be able to get to it without getting wet. Well, at least if I fall in, you guys will get to see it. Let's see, where's it at? Well, maybe I should have thought about that before. Oh, here it is. Haha, <laughs> I got it. Didn't even lose it. Actually, I bent the hook. Well, I got pliers, I can fix that. All right, guys, I just made it down to the new spot, and what? Well, first glance, I don't see one daggone thing. 
But we're gonna get here down here close to the water and see if we can fish. And I just messed the camera up, one sec. All right guys, I got you fixed back now and we're gonna go right down here and we're just gonna see if we can catch something. Anyway guys, first cast, here we go. I got the sinking minnow tied on and I'm just gonna cast it out, see what we can get. There's one, there's one. Oh, it's tied up. Well, I'll fix that and then we'll get back. Nothing yet. Oh, there's one. Oh, he hit it hard. That is just a creek chub. Minnow eating a minnow. Okay. And looks like we're going to have to do surgery. He, like, completely swallowed that hook. I got him. Well, let's get back to fishing. I don't think nothing's going to bite here, but I see plenty of fish. So I'm actually not going to switch to top water because there's all kinds of stuff on the water and they're not eating it. And I don't see them popping up. So I'm actually going to switch over to a live bait. All right, guys, I got me a little worm tied on here. And I just got like a little split shot sinker and a hook. And, well, we're just going to cast out and see what we can get. Oh, there he is. Oh, it's just a minner. Bye, bub. And he even left me a little bit of worm on there. I mean, like, you can take a little bit. I understand. I just kind of shoved a hook through your face, but don't take all my worm, bro. Oh, there's one. All right, what? Is it? Oh, it's still on. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's my new PB, guys, for sure. Okay, and, uh, well, this is definitely a green sunfish. If it was a bluegill, I wouldn't be able to lip it like that. But anyway, that's definitely a green sunfish, and we're not going to keep him because he's not big enough to eat. And, well, we're going to get him back in the water and let him go. I'm gonna get back in the water and see what we can catch. Okay. So basically, oh, here's one, here's one. There he is. Oh, he's nice, he's fighting. It is a bluegill, I think. Looks like a full, full bread bluegill. I actually know, he's got a lot of silver on him, guys. I don't know, it could be like, it's definitely part bluegill because it's got the yellow belly but it don't have the full blue right here. So, I mean, I don't know, that could be, oh, I bet that's a long year mixed with a bluegill. Yeah, we're gonna keep him and we'll just count that as a bluegill cause it looks like a bluegill and it's not a green sunfish. So, well, we'll just say that's a bluegill. Well, I already got a bite. There it is. Oh, what is this? What is this? That was a stick. I'm done guys, I am done. I thought I had a monster on. Well that just killed my hopes and dreams. But I'm actually gonna throw away the one that's smaller that I think is part long ear. And we're gonna get rid of him, so. See ya bud. And well he's gonna go on and do fishy things. And we're gonna take these two back and we're gonna do a taste test on them. So we're going to see which one tastes better, bluegill or green sunfish. But anyway, let's get going and cook them up. Guys, there's the two fish we got. The darker colored one is a bluegill, and then the lighter colored one and is a green sunfish. And, well, we're up here, and we're going to, you know, we've already tested to see which one fights better, and now we're going to, like, compare the looks of the fish and... Then we're going to see which one tastes better if they have a different taste. But anyway, I got this backpack here and it's got all my stuff in it. So I'm going to go ahead and unload that and put it out right there. All right, guys, we got everything set out and now we're going to start. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is come over here and move this. And I'm actually going to go ahead and process the fish first. And to do that, I'm going to need a fillet knife and a small spoon. And the first thing I'm going to do is sharpen my knife. I might as well go ahead and sharpen my pocket knife while I'm at it too. Alright guys, we got the knives sharpened. Now the first thing we're going to do is take this one. This is the bluegill. He's already dead. So, 
yeah, he's dead. But anyway, the first thing we're going to do is scale it. So the way you want to do that is come right back here, start at the tail, and just pin it down as hard as you can, and then just scrape forward towards the front of the fish. And that just brings the scales off real good. You can use a scaling tool. I'm just going to use a spoon because I don't have one for some reason. But you just want to go ahead and get all the scales off of the fish, and then you want to flip it over, do the other side the exact same way, get all the scales off of that side, and then we'll go on to the next step. And while I'm doing this, I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to compare and contrast what I found so far about bluegills and green sunfish. And, well, first is probably the actual physical description. And uh, the biggest thing is that on a... Uh, Green sunfish, they have a lot bigger mouths than bluegills. Like you saw that little one that I caught last, I could lip that thing and I can barely lip this one and it's like 10 times its size. Next big thing is probably gonna be this in the bluegills. They have yellow, which I actually just scraped off, but they have yellow on their bellies. Green sunfish, typically they're white. They have white bellies. That's another big physical difference in the bluegill and green sunfish. Oh, and guys, you wanna make sure you get all the scales off the fish like all of them up to here. I mean, I don't think there's any scales past that anyway, but you want to get all the scales off because if you don't, then, well, that's not a very pleasant meal. And I mean, it's not a big problem if you're eating something like trout or salmon with tiny scales on them, but you get something with a bluegill. They've got pretty big scales on them. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's a big scale. And well, it'll kind of make you lose your appetite really quick. It's like finding a hair in your food. And then you want to come straight down and then bring it out behind this fin and down right here. Don't cut all the way through it. Just kind of rip it right there and pull the guts out. Set that aside. You don't need that anymore. And then you're going to come take your knife and run it through the bottom right here down to the vent and then cut it open. Then just take your finger or a spoon or something, reach in there, make sure you get all the guts out, pull them out, set them aside. You don't need them anymore. And now you have a fully ready bluegill. And I'm going to do the green sunfish exactly the same way that I did the bluegill. And, well, let's get to it. And then uh, another difference is that, well, this I actually found out whenever I was carrying the fish in a bucket. Is that these guys, the green sunfish, they can withstand a lot worse conditions than a bluegill can. And uh, I know that because while I was walking up here, the bluegill... It was actually starting to go sideways and start to turn over. Well, this guy, he was still full on moving around and, you know, just been a fish. All right, and another big difference is these guys, as you can see right here, they have worm-like markings on their mouth. And, well, I don't have the head left on this one, but on bluegills, they have blue right there under the mouth. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and finish this guy up and wash him off, and we'll get him ready. Now, I do know that bluegills get bigger than green sunfish. And, uh, well, I guess that just depends on the water they're in. But these guys were exactly the same size. So not a big difference there. All right, I got them both. Now we're going to wash them off and get to cooking. And the way I'm going to tell the difference is that on the green sunfish, it's another physical difference. It's actually have red right there on their tail. Bluegills, well, they don't have that. And this one is kind of missing its tail. But anyway, we're going to wash them off and we'll get to cooking. Alright guys, I got them washed off and I got them in this little bowl thingy here. And the way I'm going to cook them is I'm actually going to do it like this. I'm not going to bread them like I usually do. I'm going to pour some lime juice on them. Make sure I soak them real good with that. And then we'll add some water to that. Alright, now while that's soaking, we're going to let that set right here for a little bit. And now we're going to come over here. We're going to go ahead and prepare everything else. We're going to take the frying pan and we're going to go ahead and put some butter right there. I didn't bring salt anyway, so I guess that's going to be our salt. I'm going to go ahead and come over here and go ahead and start the fire. So let's go ahead and pop the top off of that guy. Set it down there. Go ahead, come over here and get my blow. Alright, that's lit. And now we're going to come back over here. 
get the frying pan, come over here, rearrange these bricks, set it right there on it, and let that butter get real hot. Now while that's setting, we're gonna come over here and we're just gonna wait for it to heat up. That's really all we gotta do right now. We got that one lit. We're actually gonna take this second guy right here, pop it off, and then we'll go ahead and light that one too. We'll have double the heating power, I guess. Yeah, now we got two burners. That'll work. And now we're gonna come over here and we're just gonna wait for that to get real hot and then we'll go ahead and prepare the fish. All right, now we're just gonna come over here, take some black pepper, pour it right there. And now we're gonna take some garlic powder, sprinkle that on there like that, and now I'm out of it, but still. And we'll just go ahead and mix this up and come over here. Make sure you get the juice and the marinade with this, because if you don't, then it'll get on the fish and make it like really, really bad tasting. But we're just gonna pour it in, the juice first. Let that be mixing in. And then we're gonna take and we're gonna stir it up. And then, it's kinda like hydro dipping, really. We're just gonna let these sit right in there and let them marinate. All right guys, I don't know if you can hear that or not, but that is really hot. And now what we're gonna do is, I'm actually gonna sear the fish first. So I'm gonna take these pieces and I'm just gonna lay them in there like that and let them sear on one side. And then after that's done, I'll flip it over, sear it again. All right guys, that side's seared. Now I'm gonna flip them over. Whoa, that was actually really cool. The meat's coming off the bones, it's so tender. And well, the tail's falling off the bluegill. I like to flip it with a fork. All right, so far, they smell really good. And now we're just gonna wait until that side's done searing and then we should be good to go. All right guys, I'm pretty sure it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it out and put it in this plate. This one's the bluegill, so we'll keep it separate. And then over here we got the green sunfish, which actually, some of the meat's already coming off of it. It's so tender. Okay, now, I got me a fork right here. And I got, right here is the green sunfish, and right here's the bluegill, and I got some ketchup, because why not? And well first I'm gonna try it without ketchup, and I'm gonna go bluegill first. Cause I mean, I already know what they taste like, I've ate bluegill before. I've actually ate green sunfish too, but still. And now I'm gonna try the green sunfish. Now with the look of the meat, um, I would have to give it to the bluegill. It has a lot flakier meat, but it's not as, like, it has a lot more meat on the fish. It's not bad. I mean, I think it tastes like bluegill, but I'm going to try a piece of bluegill with the green sunfish still in my mouth and see which one tastes better. Alright guys, it might just be me, but I actually think the green sunfish tastes better. I mean, I don't know why. But I actually think it tastes better. Could just be the fish that I've got, or it could be something else, but with these two fish that I just caught, one bluegill and one green sunfish, the green sunfish tastes better. And I know it's the green sunfish because it has the red on its fins. But yeah, it tastes better. And now I'm gonna eat the rest of the bluegill because, well, the bluegill tastes good too, I guess. All right, guys, so overall decision, which is better, I really can't decide. For sport fishing, I would say it's definitely the bluegill because it put up a harder fight and, well, a two ounce bluegill just pulled out my five pound drag. So that's saying something if you ask me. And the green sunfish, well, it didn't pull out my drag. I pulled it in like it was a stick. And, well, there you go. Sport fish, definitely bluegill. But anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. You just fell out of the tripod.